Hi folks and welcome to Dutchy Dot Cooking. Today I'll be cooking a lamb keema fatty. We have 75 grams of lamb mince, 4 teaspoons of ground coriander, 1 teaspoon of ground cumin, 1 teaspoon of chilli powder, 2 teaspoons of garam masala, 1 teaspoon of ground turmeric, and 25 grams of ginger paste. I'm going to mix this in thoroughly. Make sure all the uh, mixes, uh, spices are combined throughout the mince. Once it's mixed, we're going to add half a cup of frozen peas. I'm just going to combine them in as well. And then last, one teaspoon of salt. Next thing to do is make the marinade for the chicken. The old spices are seeds from five cardamom pods, one teaspoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, four old cloves. I'm going to grind them all together until they're a fine powder. I'm going to take our two chicken breasts. To this we're going to add a quarter a teaspoon of ground turmeric, quarter a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and quarter a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, two teaspoons of chilli powder, two garlic cloves that have been crushed, one tablespoon of lime juice, 75 grams of natural yoghurt, I'm going to mix this all together, making sure the chicken's evenly coated. And it's best to chill overnight. Next thing we're going to make is the bacon weave. We've got 16 rashes of streaky bacon. Lay down eight slices next to each other. Then, use eight slices at right angles and make a weave. You can use the mince now to make the uh, fatty. I use uh, cling film because it's easier to do. So we're just going to make a rectangle, roughly the size of the bacon weave, but leave 25 mil all round. Just making sure it's even thickness throughout. Then we we'll place the chicken breasts on. You want the middle the tail bit towards the center what I do is over overlap these to make it an even thickness throughout we're then going to use the cling film to roll this up like a Swiss roll Once we start getting the shape, we're just going to pull the foil out, uh, cling film over the top. Try and get tight as possible. And then start rolling it. We're going to roll the ends. And just keep rolling and rolling and rolling until it tightens the fatty up. And then it's best to chill for a couple of hours to let it set. I'm going to place the uh, fatty onto the bacon weave. I'm 
So I'm going to pull the bacon weave over the fatty to cover it. Use a couple of slices left just to uh, seal the end of the fatty. Making sure it all holds together. So I'm going to put a large Dutch oven on top to the joy stove and let it start warming up. Once it's warmed up, I'm just going to drop the fatty in. And then we're going to cook this until we've got an IT of 75 degrees. The internal temperature of the Dutch oven was about 175 degrees C. So, we've reached 75 degrees IT of the Kima Fatty. It's ready to serve. And there we have it, Dutch's lamb keema fatty. So there we have it, there's Dutch's lamb keema fatty. That's good. Really good.